Welcome back to House Clark. Today we're cooking snails. This recipe started off with a trip to our local Asian market to pick up these beautiful snails. First, fill a pot with some water. Your water needs to be slightly salty, so I added one tablespoon of salt to the water and that's going to help to draw out the slime and other impurities. Once the salt is in the water, you'll need to set that on the stove top to boil. While we wait for the water to boil, we're going to wash the snails, and this will also give us a chance to make sure that all the snails are good. If you see that any of them are floating by the butt, you'll need to discard of those. And luckily, we are good here. They're all fresh and live. So I've washed them once and I'm going to go ahead and wash them again because they were pretty dirty. This is the second wash so they came out pretty clean here and we're going to go ahead and drain them and put them over into the pot of boiling water. Reduce your temperature to a slow simmer and allow them to cook for 20 minutes. After a few minutes, you'll start to see the water froth, and that just lets you know that your snails are getting clean. While we wait, we're gonna finally chop up some parsley. We're also gonna chop up some green onion. You'll also need one tablespoon of butter or more if you like. After 20 minutes, pour the snails out into a colander. Spray the snails with cold water until they're cool to the touch. And now I'm going to remove the operculum. Not all snails have these, so if your snails don't have them, just move on to the next part. I'm going to do one final rinse. And then we're going to move on to finishing the dish. In your pot, you're going to want one cup of dry white wine. I'm using Pinot Grigio. Have your temperature setting up to a medium high. And then you'll add in your snails. Add a little salt, black pepper, and garlic powder. Once the snails have been brought up to a boil, cut your heat, add the pat of butter, and stir until melted. Now we're going to sprinkle in some parsley and some green onion. Lightly stir, and we're ready to serve. I'm serving this in a bowl, and I ladled some of the snails and sauce over into the bowl. And I put a little shot glass in there with some toothpicks. And now I'm going to show you how to get the meat out of the shell. And there you go. Thank you for stopping by, House Clark. We hope you enjoyed watching us cook these snails. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe to our cooking vlog.